Hi, my name's Anthony Clark, GB 100K Ultra Runner, founder and nutrition advisor of X Miles Endurance Sports Store. We've teamed up with Runderwear and the Festival of Running to talk you through race day nutrition. Race day nutrition, we're going to split into four phases. Phase one is the day before event. Phase two, morning of the event. Phase three, during the event. And phase four, post event. So phase one is about your preparation the day before the event. Very key here is to make sure you eat well, but also that you sleep well. So you don't want to feel bloated later on in the evening. So the key is here really is to make sure you're eating regularly during the day. Um, main meal tends to be more focused during lunchtime. So you've got more time for your body to digest the food. And also then you can snack during the evening without feeling bloated and then hopefully you will get a better night's sleep the day before the event. A key element to phase one is also making sure you're well hydrated. So we encourage people to make sure that they drink well during the day. One way of doing that is having some electrolyte tablets in, in a pipe of water or a bottle of water during the day and making sure you're sipping regularly to make sure you're keeping hydrated during the day. Also the evening of the race there is a few options on how to fuel and not over feel bloated and uh, but also getting the carbs in for your race. So a product like uh, Mad Fuel Night Fuel is a hot chocolate based drink which also keeps you hydrated but also will allow you to then keep fueling up until when you go to bed. So phase two is about breakfast and pre-event fueling. Uh, this is key to making sure that you feel ready to run at the right stage. So you don't want to eat too close to when you're actually going to be running. So normally we say a minimum of one, two hours before your event, you should probably have your main food, which will be a breakfast that you've tried and tested. So you, you don't want to try anything new and you also want to make sure it's something that you know that um, sits well on your stomach and you don't have any problems racing or running within a couple of hours after having that meal. So obviously two hours is quite a long time until you actually start running. So we also want to make sure that you keep hydrated and also keep your energy levels up during the uh, pre hours before the race. So um, key to this again is to make sure that you take something that isn't going to make you um, feel bloated and not very comfortable when you're running. But also we want to make sure that you're um, ready to go and well fueled. So the best way to do that is to use a product like uh, Mad Fuel Extreme Energy Fuel or Tailwind Nutrition. So these are both um, powdered energy drinks that will go into 500 ml of water. You can make them up and then you can just sip the uh, energy drink um, from breakfast and then basically stop drinking about 45 minutes before you start running. This gives your body time to obviously go to the toilet and, and get rid of anything that's uh, excess in your body, but also make sure that your energy levels are topped up right until you start running. So phase three is during race fueling. So we've got um, different levels of event through the festival running. You've got the 5K, 10K and the half marathon events. Uh, and slightly different for each event. Um, and also slightly different for the planned duration of time you're, you're, you're going to be running for. So for 5k, normally with a 5k run that you wouldn't need to take any in-race fueling for that. You will have a lot more um, stores from your pre-race fueling um, with your energy drink beforehand and then you should comfortably be able to run for the 5k. Maybe if you're planning to be out for a little bit longer, over 30 minutes to, to an hour, and, and, and above that, then taking an energy drink with you to sip on when you're running is always a good idea. 10K, again, is a, a distance where racing fuel is optional. Um, normally, again, you would use your pre-race fueling. Um, some people would then look to take an energy drink with them to sip or use maybe one gel 
during the event depending on time. Up to 45 minutes you would get away with not having anything during the race but after that you could benefit from having an energy drink with you or maybe uh, a gel very similar to this one here. Half marathon fueling you have again a few options. So really over two hours of running you need to make sure you're taking on plenty of fuel to sustain the event. If you're running below that then there is performance gains to be able to top up your endure, your energy fuels whilst running. So again look at this in different stages. Your pre-race fuel with your energy drink then something during the event that can keep your energy levels topped up depending on duration of time. So for example a good way of looking at a half marathon would be to have your energy drink beforehand and maybe a gel at halfway and then you will be able to keep going until the end of the event. So phase four is post event. And this is kind of overlooked quite a lot of the time because you kind of think I'm done now, I'm just gonna have a treat and, and kind of just get on with things. But actually, if you get some fuel in you and sort of recovery um, food in you, within 30 minutes of finishing, you've given your body more of a chance to recover quicker. And also then if you're doing another event in a few days or planning to go out running again in a few days, you will reduce any stiffness in your muscles and and soreness from your from the event you've just completed. So really good option is a recovery drink. Uh, Mountain Fuel, for example, is uh, just mixed with 500 ml of water or milk and there's a great recovery straight after and you can have that in your bag ready to make. There's also vegan alternatives. So if you're a vegan and want to steal clear whey protein, you can go with something like Unived uh, or Tailwind Rebuild, which are both um, vegan friendly recovery drinks. The same process, 500 ml of water, get that in you as soon as you can after the event. And then when you're back to home, you can have some real food and, and continue with your normal diet. So we hope that the video has given you some idea into the four phases of nutrition for race day. Key again, takeaways from this should be keep hydrated, eat well the day before, but don't feel overly bloated, smaller portions, eat more regularly, and then making sure that you get something into your body within 30 minutes of finishing to make sure that you recover better from the event. We really hope this has given you food for thought and please reach out to us at X Miles if you want any help with your nutrition and we can guide you through the process.